In this tutorial, I will show you how to use STD vector in C++ instead of the standard arrays. So first, let's see what is basically the problem with standard arrays in C++. So standard arrays are basically in C and C++ and they worked quite well. Here you have, well, an uh, example with uh, user age list, which is a list of five user age, of five integer numbers. Okay, so we initialize the array here and then we just modify one index. So this is uh, that number here that we modify with index one. And then we can also, for example, print or use one of the elements by directly calling with brackets with the index. But this kind of array has a lot of limitations. So for example, it is not dynamic. So if you put the size, which is five here, you are not going to be able to add another element after the last one. Okay, you just have five values and that's it. Also, you can't remove any element. I mean, you could put it to zero, for example, but when you have an array with five elements, it's always going to be five elements. So you can't modify the size, you can't add anything, you can't remove anything, and you don't have that many functionalities. So everything you need to do, you're going to need to do that by hand. And so now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, but with STD vectors and show you what are the advantages of using vectors. So I'm going first to comment all of that code here, um, like this. Okay. And I'm going to create the exact same thing, but with vector. So in order to use a vector, I first need to include brackets, so angle brackets, vector. Okay, you need to include that uh, library here. And then I'm going to do std vector. And I'm going to use angle bracket to specify the type I want. So int, okay, we want int. std vector, angle bracket with the type. And then I can give the name, so user age list. And I can initialize it. So let's initialize with the same element. Maybe like this. So as you can see here, there is no mention anywhere of the size. Okay, here we have to declare uh, the size, but here we just say, okay, we want a vector of integers. And we can also, if we want, initialize the vector uh, when we declare it with those elements. Okay, but here I could put three, four, five elements. Let's say put four elements. Okay, that's going to be automatically adjusted. Okay, so now the array will have four elements. So the size is dynamic. So now let's do the same thing we did here. So we want to modify an um, element in the vector. So I can do user age list, and then I'm going to do dot at open and close parentheses and put the index. Okay, so let's say I'm going to do this. So I'm doing the same thing here. Okay, here I use a bracket to modify uh, the element at index one, which is the second one because we start at zero. Here, this is the same, but dot at index one, which is the second element. And if I want to print it, I do std cout with user age list dot at with the index. So as you can see, if you know how to use arrays, well, using vectors just to modify elements or getting elements, it's very easy. And now, so on top of that, so on top of the fact that the uh, array is actually dynamic, we can use different functions that are built in the vector functionality. So for example, I can do, uh, let's say here, I want to do user age list dot size. So I can directly print the size, or I can directly use the size and get the size of the vector, okay? So here size is gonna return four. Okay, let's just run that with the code runner extension in VS Code. You can see four. Okay, if I put another element here, you can see we have five elements. It's going to print five. All right. So you have a bunch of useful functionalities like that. You also have a very useful one, which is so user edge list dot push back. Push back. So let's put, for example, 56. Push back is going to add a new element after the last one, and you provide the element in the parentheses, okay? So this way, you can actually increase the size. And this also gives you more options to create the vector. So let's remove everything here. Let's say you just declare 
okay, an empty vector first. And then you can do user age list dot pushback with, for example, 18, which is the first element. And then you can repeat that as many times as you want, okay, with 30, with 27, etc., etc. So as you can see with vector, you have more freedom and things are gonna be easier for you when you develop in C++. If you like this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also check out my online courses so you can learn C++ step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.